Right, uh, when we started off this uh, little series, I said we will take you through the ups and the downs of doing what we're doing, and uh, today's a bit of a down, really. Uh, first of all, last night we didn't make it to Uig Bay campsite in time for tutorial, so um, it was getting like towards quarter past seven and so I went to the lay-by at the top of the hill because I knew I'd have phone signal there and it wasn't too exposed. So of course by the time I finished tutorial, I had something to eat, it was half past nine, uh, not the time really to uh, wake someone up and uh, turn up at the campsite. So we stayed there the night and came down this morning and um, yeah, having a chat with the campsite owner and, uh, oh yes, I saw you in the lay-by last night. And I said, well, you know, half past nine is a bit late to uh, to turn up. And chatting about Gaelic and why are you doing it? And I said, well, there's no one in Gaelic media representing caravanners and motor caravanners. We're always portrayed as, you know, in a one-sided light up here. And uh, he regales me then of a story. Uh, he was... Uh, up at his friend's croft and he looked down and he saw a motor caravan come in, empty his tanks, fill up his water and push off without paying. Um, you know, which happens and it really cheeses me off, choosing my words correctly here to keep this R rated. Um, people like that really cheese me off, but they're not um, indicative of all of us. You know, that's the, that's the, the bad penny, that's the, the bad apple in the barrel. Yeah, it happens. Maybe it happens more than they want. Then he goes on to tell me that, <clears throat> you know, after foreign visitors have been here from the Netherlands and Germany, he looks in the bins and finds all local food, you know, from the Netherlands and Germany, not they haven't bought their food over here. Um, oh, dear. And then I go to swing. Then, then, you know, it's just, oh, for goodness sake. And then he kind of agrees that actually, yeah, most of us are all right, it's just the few, but it's always the few that people um, talk about and um, criticise and think is representative of all of us, which is not. And it kind of cheeses me off. And then just to put the tin hat on it, uh, I was swinging into my pitch and as you probably know, I tow with the tailgate down because of the motorbike. And I've gone and put a great big crunch in my new tailgate on my new car. I can only assume it's because as the old tailgate had dropped and um, it, it never happened with that. But of course this one, because it was brand new, it was sticking right out, swung into the pitch and I've put a, and the jockey wheel um, has put a horrible crunch on the back of the tailgate of my brand new car. I'll go and show it to you now. So that's what I've done to my car. Taking the paint off. That's the jockey wheel where I swung round. So I am not happy at all. Of course, if it happened, if I'd swung the other way, this platform would have taken it and I can see there's a small crease there under that hole there. Where's my finger? There. So I've done it there as well. <sighs> Grr. Anyway, while we're here, this is a uh, Uig Bay campsite on the Isle of Sky. <coughs> and yes, that is somebody in a tent. No, 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 no. Absolutely bonkers. Mad, mad, I tell you, mad. Right, so while we're at Ig Bay, um, I thought I'd just give you a quick uh, guide tour of the gentleman's facilities. So, um, the showers there. Um, just let you make your own minds up because uh, everyone has their own standards. The shower block is not heated, um, and it's mainly for that reason that I have chosen to use my onboard facilities. For those of you uh, using wheelchairs, this is the uh, space for uh, people who need a bit of extra room and then you've got the Bosch basins here and uh, as I said um, it, it's not heated so I, uh, I've chosen to 
use my own facilities. However, um, I've been paying nine pounds per night, including a main hook up for one person. Um, it would be 15 a night if there were two of you with a main hook up. So um, I don't think that's too bad. Um, so I know it's not the most luxurious block in the world, but um, I think it's commensurate with the price that you're paying. Uh, there you go.